Greetings from the X Factory. I am Seth Wilgen with Seed Studio. And today, we're going to be talking about wireless communication. With me today, I have our Grove UART Wi-Fi module, a Grove FM receiver module, our MeshB, which is an open source Zigbee Pro, our serial Bluetooth module, our Grove BLE, or Bluetooth Low Energy Edition, and our Grove RFID reader. Also, I have a GPRS Arduino shield, as well as the Cdrino Long Range Wide Area Network, and the Cdrino Long Range Wireless Area Network with GPS. Let's take a closer look, shall we? We'll start out first talking about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is on 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz frequency. It's good for up to about 20 meters, and it tops off around 433 megabits per second. It's good for uh, high bandwidth applications, such as streaming videos um, and audio. Now, what Seed offers in this range is the Grove UART Wi-Fi. Let's open it and take a peek. The Grove UART Wi-Fi is a BG and N protocol, so it can connect with almost any type of uh, router you might have at home. And it also has an integrated temperature sensor that makes it very useful. And again, as most Grove products, it just connects via our Grove 4-pin connector. Next, let's talk about frequency modulation or FM, as you're probably more familiar with. This is between 50 and 115 megahertz. It's different country to country. The bandwidth is relatively low at roughly 1,000 bits per second, or one kilobit per second. The distance depends on the station that's playing the music and how much power they're putting into their broadcasting. Seed offers the I2C FM receiver Let's take a closer look. This module features the RDA 5807M chip. This chip has a full synthesizer on board, and the module itself actually has a headphone jack so you can listen to your music. Let's talk about the Zigbee protocol. This can be used on the 888 MHz, 915 MHz, and also 2.4 MHz. It's good for some medium bandwidth, um, about 250 kilobits per second, so it's about 250 times faster than the FM. Now, the range is about 30 meters indoors, if you're lucky, but Outdoors, you can get into a 100 meters line of sight. This is actually called the Meshbee. This is similar to the Zigbee Pro. It uh, has a built-in antenna. And one of the neat things about it is that you can plug it into any existing XB slot and it should work fine. It's all open source hardware and software for this one. And it actually has a 32-bit processor that you can reprogram. Pretty cool if you ask me. So let's start talking about Bluetooth, specifically Bluetooth 3. Bluetooth 3 uses 2.4 gigahertz, similar to Wi-Fi, has a bandwidth of up to 2 megabits per second, which might surprise you, but is only good for up to 10 meters. Bluetooth was actually designed for two devices close to each other to communicate, um, either continuously streaming data for microphones, headsets, speakers, that sort of stuff. Right here we have the Grove Serial Bluetooth 3, which has a really cool thing. Every 30 minutes it will actually try to auto reconnect. So it's good to leave in devices that you don't want to manage that often, that you'll be leaving out for a while.
Continuing on with Bluetooth, we have Bluetooth LE, or Bluetooth 4. Now, Bluetooth 4 uses a 2.4 GHz band similar to Wi-Fi and other Bluetooth devices. But one really cool thing is that the bandwidth has jumped up to 24 megabits per second, and the range has jumped up to 30 to 60 meters, depending on the application you're doing. What Seed offers is the Grove VLE module. This is a dual mode, so it's a pretty powerful device. Another interesting protocol is RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification. RFID works on the 120 to 150 kilohertz range, and only works up to 7 inches. It also has a very low data transfer rate. One thing that's very interesting, though, is that you only have one active component, or one power component. The other component, the other component is passive. So what Seed has to offer is an actual RFID reader, which is the active component. When turned on, you will have, you will have a current pushed through this rectangle. And whenever you enter a RFID card, Within seven centimeters, it'll be able to transfer the data back and forth. Now we'll talk about GSM and GPRS. These are the communication that allow mobile devices, such as cell phones, to communicate. These are around 850, 900, 1800, and 1900 megahertz. And the distance really depends on the service provider. Now, they don't have the best bandwidth, but it's also pretty decent at between 56 kilobits per second, and it can go up to about 114 kilobits per second. Now, as you can see, this is a shield that we have, the GPRS Arduino shield. So we fit on an Arduino shield nice and easy, and we have both an external SIM slot, so you can easily look, put a SIM card in, as well as a headset jack, so you can talk and listen to people around the world. The last communication protocol we'll talk about is Long Range WAN, or Long Range Wide Area Network. This can go up to 20 kilometers, but the downside is that the bandwidth is only 0.3 to 19.2 kilobits per second. This is ideal for applications such as smart farms, smart parks, small, smart cities, and smart grids. Now, these situations you likely aren't transferring large amounts of data, but rather just some raw sensor data that you've been gathering and accumulating. Now, Seed's answer to this problem is the Seeduino Long range WAN, and we also have a version that has GPS. Some cool functions with this, aside from the GPS, are that it has a built in LiPo charger. So once you've attached a LiPo battery, you can actually charge it through USB. But it also is programmed by Arduino, a nice, easy, friendly language. And it has four Grove connections. So you can easily plug in multiple sensors to grab data. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Seed Studio, and to visit us on our community site at seed.cc. That's seed with three E's. There you can find more information on tutorials and projects. And we hope that you'll also provide feedback in the comments below. Thank you very much. Keep on making. Until next time.